Hello, how are you? I'm here again to continue with the Google Classroom. Today we will see how we can assign classwork or homework to the students. Those who haven't watched my first video of Google Classroom, I'll post the link in the description box so you can watch how to create a Google Classroom. So now let's see how we get back into the account. So again, I've just clicked Google Classroom. It's taking directly to my classroom because we already created, you can see these are my classes. So I'm just opening, there are no students as of now. So I'm just opening it. So here, whatever you want to share announcements, you can do like, for example, I'm going to say, welcome back to school, anything. You can just post it and all the students can see it. I can add a picture, image, file, anything over here. So I'm going to add a file or you can go and browse here and then add an image or something over here. Okay, so this is how you insert a file and then you can just post it. So this is what it will show for the students. Any announcement you can give here. Now, to assign classwork, we go to classwork. We click on create. First of all, let's see if you want to post any material. Let's say I'm going to post a reading comprehension or a story, anything. And I can give a description about what, like read this and answer the questions or anything like that. And here I can add. So here again, you can add a link, you can add a file, you can add YouTube link. So if you want to add a file, here you will see the recent files. You can go to upload and browse and search for any files you want to give and then you can attach it. And this is my first lesson, so it will upload here. You can also add YouTube links. For example, if you want YouTube videos, you can type your topic here and search for videos. Like for example, let's say I put a graph, I search, I can just take any one and post it here. Or you, you, if you have already the link for the YouTube, you can paste it here and add it. You can go and add the topic here. You're going to create, let's say it's lesson one and to whom are you posting it and you can go to post. Now here you can see, you can post it now or you schedule it or save the draft and come back later. So if I'm going to schedule it, I can say on which day at what time. So this will help you to schedule, especially with the current situation when you are having the face-to-face. -face. Let's say I have on September 3 and I have my lesson at 10 a.m or 10.15 a.m. You can just say and you can schedule it. So what happens is that this cannot be seen by students. See, it's scheduled for September 3. So no one can view it until September 3, 10 a.m. When it is 10 a.m., this will be visible for everyone. You can click here and edit anything if you want. So this is where your lesson is ready. Now we can create a quiz assignment. It automatically links with the Google Forms. You can use the Google Form and create a quiz assignment here. You can grade it over here, or you can leave it ungraded. You can give a due date. You can choose if it's what topic it's related to and then assign it. Again, here you can schedule or assign directly. Same way you can uh, create a question like we can give a question and add them and we can ask the students to reply to each other and they can edit the answer so they can give the answers over here you can give short answer or multiple choice so like general questions uh, which we ask in the classroom we can give it here let them answer over here the next thing is assignment this is how you can give homeworks again you can keep it graded or ungraded you can give the title, you can give the instructions and you can add anything. Let's say, watch this video and answer these questions or you can give a file, download it and uh, do the homework and upload it again. 
you can give all these things as a homework and you can add a rubric here if it's graded you can add a rubric and again here you can assign it straight away or you can uh, schedule it for an assignment this is all about classworks and homeworks reuse post is like for example i have grade 5a 5b 5c so once I create a post in 5A, I can go to 5B and click on from 5A and post it in 5B. I can go to 5C, click it. Like for example here, see I have a one which is scheduled here in 5A. I can click it and post it. Once you click it, it will show reuse and you can use it here. So this is all about classworks and this is the topic. We can set the different topics. The topic I have set here is already lesson one. Then I can add a topic lesson two. So see, I have lesson one, lesson two. You can drag and drop to get the order. So now I want them to see lesson one first. I drag and put it up. See, but I want uh, lesson two to be seen first. So you can drag and drop and change. So anything you put, all the assignments and quizzes and things which you put, in lesson one will come here. That's why when you create something, like for example, if it's a quiz, we go here and select the topic. Is it lesson one or lesson two? So if you choose lesson one, it will come under lesson one. So this is all about setting classworks and homeworks. So I hope that was helpful for you and you have understood how to set the assignments and uh, classworks and homeworks how you can post it straight away and how you can schedule it for later. Especially with the current situation, you can set face-to-face -face classes simultaneously. You can have the students who are online doing the task same time. You just need to prepare it uh, beforehand and schedule it for the time. So the students who are doing online classes can access the lessons simultaneously. If you have any suggestions for any topics, please comment in the comment box. See you in the next video.